When Perseverance reached the crest of the rim of Jezero Crater, it stopped to look back across terrain it had spent nearly four years exploring. This gave it an unprecedented view all the way to the distant wreckage of the spacecraft that delivered it on this episode of Mars Guy. Perseverance is now literally over the hill, but only in the topographic sense. It's taking a break for the holidays before continuing its downward trek. But earlier this month, when it was still on top, it stopped long enough for MassCam Z to shoot a panorama. This is the highest vantage point it will ever have of the interior of Jezero Crater and all the landmarks it visited and many that it couldn't. Conveniently for the coming of a new year, this gives us an opportunity to look back. The full panorama has 130 individual frames taken over a half hour period and mosaiced together back on Earth. The rover tracks are a useful scale bar spanning about nine feet. And to help visualize that, here's Mars Guy for scale. By this point, Perseverance was well past the steepest and most slippery sections of its climb. The view of the track's downslope captures the last several drives, including the final science stop on the side of the rim at the top of the rocky ridge named Pico Turquino. This is where Perseverance found olivine-rich rocks similar to the ones first encountered on the floor of Jezero Crater in the terrain named Sita, including the horizontal features that could be layers, but could also be horizontal fractures. The next stop on the tour features one of the most iconic landmarks of the whole mission. Dubbed Kodiak Butte, it was visible from the landing site of Perseverance and many locations after that. It was also the feature that helped tell the geologic story of the deposits of the ancient river that flowed into Jezero Crater more than 3 billion years ago. The dramatically sloping layers formed as sediments tumbled down the front of the advancing delta fan in ancient Lake Jezero. The status of Kodiak Butte as an eroded outlier of the delta fan deposit is nicely shown from this elevated perspective and from the presence of similar deposits observed up close by Perseverance. This location shows a similar combination of flat-lying and tilted sedimentary layers, indicative of an advancing delta fan. And it also shows the presence of rounded cobbles and boulders that indicate that at least some of the time, raging floodwaters capable of carrying such large rocks entered Jezero Crater. Another landmark of Jezero Crater is neither land nor naturally formed. In this distance, two tiny specks just a bit brighter than anything else around are the remnants of the landing system that delivered Perseverance safely to the ground. And thanks to the remarkable success of the Ingenuity helicopter, it was able to survey the dramatic scene, which shows the smashed back shell of the capsule that cocooned Perseverance on its flight from Earth, and the parachute that slowed the capsule during its final descent. Also evident in this image is the shadow of ingenuity, a sort of selfie showing it in action. The last stop on the tour takes us across the eroded remnants of the Delta Fan, some of which were emplaced by water flowing through the river channel named Naretva Vallis. This also is the final resting place of ingenuity, after it dramatically exceeded its originally planned one-month, five-flight mission. 72 flights and nearly three years after its arrival, Ingenuity encountered terrain on the floor of Naret Vivalis, sufficiently bland that its visual navigation system struggled to keep it oriented. This led to a rough landing that damaged its rotors and ended its storied career. And this ends our brief look back at just a few of the landmarks of Jezero Crater, with lots more exploration to come in the new year.